Good morning, Bobcats. I'm Samantha Smith, and this is the WBRE News. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. Our purpose statement is, we're learning for life every day. Weather forecast, our high is 80 degrees and our low is 55 degrees. And now with Elise and Gavin for the Pledge of Allegiance. And to the project for which you stand, one station under God, invisible, of liberty and justice and law. And here's Jace with the joke of the day. Hey, Mom! Yes, Jace? How does Darth Vader like his toast? Hmm. I don't know, Jace. How does Darth Vader like his toast? On the dark side. Aren't you such a comedian? I know. <laughs> and now for Brain Teasers with Miss Henry. Good morning and welcome back to Brain Teasers with Mrs. Henry. On Friday, I asked you to name two U.S. coins whose total was 55 cents if one was not a nickel. Well, here's the solution. Two coins that total 55 cents are a 50 cent piece and a nickel. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Mrs. Henry, you said one was not a nickel. That's right. This one is not a nickel, but this one is. So the solution, a 50 cent piece and a nickel. Today's question also has to do with coins. There are two identical dump trucks. One of the dump trucks is completely full of nickels. The other dump truck is only halfway full of dimes. My question for you, which dump truck do you want? The one that is completely full with nickels or the one that is only halfway full with dimes. Don't forget to tell me why. I'll see you tomorrow. Now for Callie Scott with our quote of the day. All of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And this quote was by Walt Disney. Here's Miss Cox with the STEM project. Good morning boys and girls. Today on our STEM task, we're going to make balloon racers. All you need for this task is a balloon, a piece of tape, and a straw with a long piece of string threaded through it. Make sure your straw is on your string before you tie it up. Go! What happened? And as you do your balloon races, here's a few things to think about. How does the amount of air in the balloon affect the speed and the distance? How does the height of the star and finish affect the speed? If it's a level line, how fast does it go? If star is higher than finish, does it go faster or slower or is it the same? And what if the star is lower than the finish? Does it go faster, slower, or the same? One last thing before I go. Never take your tape off an inflated balloon. If you pull tape off the balloon when it's blown up, it's going to pop. Miss Alleman's 10 second dance party featuring Miss Newsome. Say, say, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh, oh. I never seen anybody do the things you do before. Say, say, move for me, move for me, move for me, hey, hey. And when you're done, I'll make you do it all again. We'd love to see you on the news. Don't forget to submit your videos. Bye for now, Bobcats. See you tomorrow.